Coronavirus is the biggest threat this country has faced for decades. To stay at home, stay at home. To stay at home, to stay at home. Over the last year, the coronavirus pandemic drastically changed people's lives. A major change has been the loss of contact with loved ones. We want to show how people have been coping with this change and the impact it has had on their lives and their mental health. We will be mainly interviewing young adults, primarily university students. This is a unique group for this idea because most people when looking at this topic tend to veer to elderly people. But we will see how being trapped in a new and unfamiliar location away from friends and family has affected them. Um, during the pandemic, I couldn't see my older family members, so I lost contact with them. I couldn't Skype them, I couldn't message them, I didn't have access to phones. And um, my friends, I didn't really see them, I still don't see them. So. Uh, yeah, I lost contact with a great auntie and uncle of mine who are older and have not seen them since the beginning of the pandemic. Yes, um, a couple of friends, um, and then like, there was a big argument with my family, so someone might have been family not speaking to us, so, yeah, not there. I think it has really affected me. Um, obviously, I've got a bit lonely recently because I don't really have many friends anymore. And um, having the family members die during the restrictions, not being able to see them, um, it really affected me. You do think about it quite often and sometimes you do get quite sad that you're not um, in contact with them anymore. Uh, it's been a bit rubbish, I mean not having contact with people is never nice and I like people but uh, on the long run, nah, probably not too badly. Yeah. Well, I would say it's massively impacted but I'd say it's impacted my, me worrying or being anxious at the cage with the amount of elderly people that we've lost through the pandemic. I do worry if they're okay or if they're worrying themselves. It had a good um, impact really because I spent a lot of time doing like self care. I'd eat a lot more healthily. I used to go on walks quite frequently as well. So yeah, it was a good good impact on my mental health. I used to see them quite a lot. They were uh, some of the last relatives on the dad's side of his family and they um, quite old and we do like repairs and things like that to them things in the house I wonder if he's still doing them. Uh, yeah, just like his general sort of passion for them. Like, how are they doing alright, but if not? I do miss these people, um, some more than others, um, depending on how close I was with these people and which friend it was out of the few that I have lost contact with. Yeah, some of the people I lost contact with were my closest friends. Um, and I often think about what they could be up to right now um, and my family members, I have got a bit more contact with them but I don't see them as much as I used to so I do want to know like, what they're doing, what they're up to. I do really miss my family members and my friends that I don't see anymore. I do wish I still had the connection that I had with them before the corona. But with some of my friends I don't think I will. We've done different things through different places in our lives, so. It, it's rubbish not seeing people who you're mates with, so yeah, I do miss them, but I'm alright, but it's what it is. I make more friends. <laughs> One of my mates, I did actually message her like, the other day. Um, like, I, I was in mid conversation with other people, I saw the picture, and I was like, oh my god, it's my mate, so I messaged her about it, so that's been quite nice. So yeah, probably. Most of them. For us to stay connected, contact friends and family just for a chat, such as phone calls, text messages or a video chat. This way, we don't have to be isolated and alone, but can stick together. So often, we find ourselves in our own world, wrapped up in our thoughts, stresses and worries. We must make an effort to reach out to the people we love and the people we care about.